Hello everyone and welcome back to Chef Sherry's Plant-Based Kitchen. I haven't been with you for a while. Dale and I took a big trip. We went to Hawaii over in Maui. It was Dale's 70th birthday this year. My wonderful husband and photographer, videographer here. And we decided let's do it because we're getting to that point in life where we worked hard all of our lives and we haven't treated ourselves to much in terms of trips. So we're starting to do a little bit more of that. It was unbelievable. It was just beautiful, peaceful and relaxing. I didn't have to cook for a whole week, which is sort of nice when you cook all the time. But we are back. And believe it or not, it's snowing here in Chicago today. I can't believe it, coming back from that gorgeous weather. But it'll be springtime weather soon here. I think next week it'll keep warming up again. So we got to make something for dinner tonight. And I was looking through my recipes and I said, you know, I've never shown you guys how to make my barbecued black eyed pea burgers. They are really good. I don't know who who created this recipe. I don't have that person's name. I copied it down somewhere. But I've made a couple modifications, so it's sort of going to be my new different trial on this recipe. So let's get started. You're going to need a food processor. So I'll use my good old trusty processor here. And what I'm going to do, I took one can of black eyed peas and I rinsed them and I drained them. And I'm just going to throw them into the food processor. Next, I'm going to throw in one onion that I just cut up. Now, I suppose you could just put it in quarters and throw it in here, but I guess when you chop it a little bit, it gets a little bit more combined, maybe. So we'll do that. And we're going to add some garlic. I have four cloves of garlic, and I love garlic, so the more the merrier. Next, we're going to add our barbecue sauce. Now, I'm trying a new one that I found at Whole Foods that is organic and unsweetened. So it really has only healthy ingredients in it. I'm just looking here, even very little sodium. So it's pretty good. Let's see how that works today. We're gonna to put a fourth cup of this in. Remember, I'll post the recipe with the quantities and the ingredients so you don't have to worry about doing that now. Then we're gonna add our spices, which include thyme, smoked paprika, oregano, and some onion powder. And that's what we're gonna do. Now, it calls for some oats or breadcrumbs, but when I grew up, my mom used to make burgers with grated potato. So I grated one potato and I squeezed out the water. We're gonna try it with the potato today and see how that works as a binder and it just gives it a good flavor. I just love those burgers my mom used to make. Let me add the Worcestershire, vegan Worcestershire sauce and the Bragg liquid aminos. Don't wanna forget that, we need moisture. And then we're going to just put the food processor on. We do not wanna make it mushy. You don't want to over grind this, over process it. So I'm gonna watch it closely. Let me move this stuff away so you can see what we're doing. look at it. Yeah, it says just keep it sort of, um, you don't want the beans to be all mushed up. I'll give it one more pulse. And that's it. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I haven't added the potatoes yet, but I'm going to take my mixture here. And just get this stuff out of the way. Sorry for that noise. I'm going to take this off. Here we go again, Dale. This thing never gives me trouble until I get on camera. Why is that, Dale? Can't tell you why. I don't know why. Okay, let's put it in the bowl. So you can see the consistency of it. You can still see the beans a little bit. They're not so mushy. And it does sort of look like, like a hamburger mix, doesn't it, in a way? A little bit. A little bit, the color of it especially. But this is a bean burger. Okay, I used this recipe when I taught a cooking class for people with heart disease. They made it with me and then they took it home for dinner and I think they really liked it, so we'll give it a try. Now I'm gonna throw my potatoes in and then my hands have been cleaned, so I'm gonna to start to mix it all together. Yeah, I, don't, I think I'm gonna leave out the oatmeal. 
I don't think we need it because I think that the potatoes are a great binder. And look, very nice. So let's really thoroughly mix this up. But you know, if you like to use oats, you can throw in a little bit. You know, and maybe I should just do a drop. I changed my mind. You know, I'm a scientist in the kitchen. We try new things, so let's just add a little bit of oats. It calls for one and a fourth to one and a half cups. I'm just gonna put a little drop in, like that. I'd say that's about maybe a quarter of a cup. We'll add that in, just for good measure. Oats are good for you, so the more the merrier. All good ingredients here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is show you how I put them on my baking sheet. And I'm gonna bake these guys at 375 degrees on parchment paper for about 25 to 35 minutes. Now I also think you could try to put them in the air fryer if you wanted to. Maybe bake them a little bit, then when they're nice and together, throw them to the air fryer, see how that works. So let's, let's form them into to the burger shapes. Yep, they're holding together very nicely. How's that look? Pretty good? So let me tell you a little bit about how we ate in Hawaii, because you know, when you're plant-based and you travel, it is a challenge. So we, have, um, we were staying at a nice hotel that had some vegan options for dinner and lunch, so we had to repeat a few things, but we found out the day we were leaving that we could have asked the chef to make like a stir fry, do anything that we wanted if we had given 24 hour notice. So if, if we go back someday, we will surely do that, right Dale? Absolutely. But we have a funny story. So we found this vegan restaurant that was about mile, 1.2 miles from our hotel. And it was a rather hot day, but we go, come on, let's walk over there. We can walk, that's nothing for us. So it was really, really hot. And we walked over there and we finally find the place and we go up to the door. It's closed, it had just closed, it hadn't made it. I was so sad because we had looked at the menu and we were gonna get some nice bowls, couldn't eat there. So there was a pita place like right across the way we ended up having um, some falafels, uh, but that was funny. And then we walked into the restaurant, this uh, pita place, and the waitress took one look at us because we were just dripping with sweat because it was hot. We had walked up this big hill to get there. She goes, are you guys just coming from pickleball? I said, <laughs> no, we just walked from our hotel. No pickleball. But um, we had lunch there. It was fine. But, you know, it's, it, it's tough on the island there, I think, for some of these restaurants to uh, make it. This one didn't make it. I was sad about that. And the other ones were too far away for us to really get to. We didn't have a car. So anyway, but it, we had a great time. But here are the burgers. I'm gonna to toss them into the oven now and give them a try. Try it with the potato. I just took one potato and grated it and, and then squeeze out the water and throw it in there. Um, this is how my mom used to make them when she would make regular hamburgers with ground beef, but it was always good. So we'll see how they come out. Have a wonderful day, and hopefully I will be back soon with another cooking demo now that we're back from vacation. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.